got the camera fixed. And I sent it off to Canon and it came back and it was fixed and I was like, oh my God. Today it was the library book sale and I also wanted a plastic bug to sew onto a jumper, obviously. So I went out with Will and we went to the library book sale first. And Will picked up this Norwich Market's official handbook just because the cover is really cool. He also got Godzilla King of the Monsters from... Mm, where's the copyright on here? 2019? And he also got this Quill Soup children's book. The artwork is so pretty. Look. Look at all these colours. And then I picked up the Bad Mood and the Stick because it has art by Matt Forsyth and how he uses colours and textures I just think is really cool. And then not from the book sale, I just borrowed from the library Giant Days Extra Credit Volume 1 and Nausicaa Volume 4. It's been years since I read the last ones of these, so I can't remember anything. But I'm just gonna carry on, because I know that I really like them. They're really, really good. And then, because I wanted the bug, um, Will remembered a toy shop that he used to really like when he was a kid, and he wasn't sure if it still existed, and I looked it up and it does still exist, so we went there and it's amazing. It's such a good toy shop, when you walk in, there's a sensor, like a movement sensor, and it makes fart noises when you walk in the door. And there's just such a good mix of like, they sell like Switch consoles, but they also sell like these patches can be iron on. These were only 10p. Will got this cool rabbit and I got baby, obviously. Yeah, the shop's amazing. They also sell sweets. I got a refresh bar and Will got a stinger. I love Swizzler's packaging. And I got this Sylvanian Family's collector's guide with like all the different families and stuff in. And these guys, because I can't really afford Sylvanian families, but I can look at them. <laughs> they had the veggie babies and the ice cream cuties and the costume cuties and they were just oh, so cute. I loved them so much. Oh my God. Doesn't stop wearing them. God. <laughs> and we got a sticker pack each. Hours of fun, collect them all. Will got dinosaurs and I got these like under the sea ones. They're really cute. I'm just reading them all on the back. Oh yeah, it doesn't say under the sea, it just says sea. Which I guess makes sense. You're not really under the sea, it just is the sea. And then they didn't have bugs. The one failing of this toy shop is that they didn't have plastic bugs but they did have tiny troll dolls so I got a troll doll and I'm gonna put this guy on the jumper instead or maybe as well as 
maybe I'll find kids still like bugs right surely there's a little plastic bug I can get from somewhere and that is everything that I got but yeah that toy shop's so cool there's a big um what are they called Playmobil is it Playmobil Playmobil Spock outside and there was one of the big Sylvanian families up on the shelf I love those and it just had so much stuff it had like Warhammer and figures and stuff upstairs really good toy shop. I'm very glad that we can go to it now, now that we have the bike and that we know that it exists. Because Will didn't think it would still be there because he remembers it from when he was really little so that's really cool that it's still there. And I don't know how to end a haul. That was all the things. They're amazing. Hopefully it's not too dark because I'm in front of the window. It should be fine. I'm gonna be looking at the screen all of the time because I'm amazed that I have it again. Um, it was a nice day and I didn't get out enough so I decided to go for a walk to some charity shops to get me out of the house. And I got this SpongeBob and he was only 50p. I'm going to put him in the washing machine because even though you're not really supposed to because it might make the stuffing go lumpy, it's someone else's dirt, so I'm just going to risk it. I don't mind if he goes a bit lumpy. Um, I'll do it on a, on a delicate cycle. But yeah, can you believe it? He's nice and big and has flappy arms and legs. 50p, 50p. <laughs> and then also, I got What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Because I've never seen this and it feels like something that I should have seen. And also The Burbs, which again, I've never seen it and seems like something I would enjoy. And then the films, the DVDs were £1.50 each or three for three pound. So I also got Underworld Evolution. I can't remember which one this is, or if it's any good, or if I've even seen it. But I like gothy vampire stuff. And also I'm a sucker for a freebie, so I had to pick up something. <laughs> so I went with this. I think I'll enjoy it. I think that'll be good. I'm going to have a look in here, because it seems like there's a booklet or something, and that's always exciting. Look. Is it just a single leaflet? That's cool though, it's like a tiny poster. Oh my god, and then there's It Takes Two. And Second Hand Lions, which I've never heard of. It's just like a seam selection thing. That's cool, I love it when you get, like all the booklets and stuff are still in things when you get them second hand, it's so nice. So yeah, that was pretty successful. Now, I'm going to have a cup of tea and eat a cookie and edit some photos for a shop listing, I think. I can't believe I have my camera back. I maintain that you don't need a fancy camera to make interesting videos. I really like cameras. 
I used to carry like three or four cameras with me if I ever went anywhere and then I stopped doing that I think initially because phone cameras got better and then I started making videos so I was filming things instead of taking photos of them and then I don't know I started to realize that I wanted to be taking more photos as well as videos and also I don't know there's some mental health stuff in there about restricting myself or not deserving things that like let's not let's not go into all of that but I've been trying to be nicer to myself and to work on these sorts of things so I had some Christmas money and I was like I should get my camera fixed why am I not fixing my camera I should do that for myself and I did and I sent it off to Canon and it came back and it was fixed and I was like oh my god I was really worried that they weren't going to be able to fix it because it's quite an old model so I didn't know if they would still be making parts or doing repairs on them anymore but they were and they fixed it really fast and I'm really happy to have it back I have a little bit of a sore throat today so I'm just gonna take it easy and hope it doesn't develop into a full-blown cold I'm just gonna putter about and the first first on the agenda is that I've made myself a nest and I've got a hot chocolate and I have yeah, my pile of comics from my to read pile and I'm just gonna yeah take it easy ease myself into it see how it goes Will has had like a slight cold and yeah I guess I'm just getting it now God, I look so red and blotchy is that what I look like in real life I love DVD menus so much. Do you know what? That was a perfectly lovely film about how Kate Beckinsale is beautiful and a vampire and at the end she gets to be able to go in the sun again even though she's a vampire and she's super strong and beautiful and can go in the sun as well and it's just a happy story I feel <laughs> um, Will is on his way home now and he's bringing ice cream for my sore throat and that's a nice happy ending for me might not be a beautiful vampire but I'm gonna get some ice cream